Hey. So it's no secret that this year so far has been a bit of a dumpster fire for Star Citizen with patches we expected to bring amazing changes in performance having a massively negative impact on the stability of the game and though this could be negatively interpreted a load of different ways I think the choice to use one of the things we hate about the development of Star Citizen specifically the backlog of semi-complete content waiting for Squadron 42 to be released as a means of quelling the frustration some feel as the project lags on into another year. I'm actually quite optimistic for CitizenCon and though the physical event this year is a chance to improve the community's perception of the game I think Releasing something as impactful and impressive as the Anvil F8 set, F8C Lightning, if I can say that, <clears throat> is definitely a very real suggestion that Squadron 42 is almost in the bag. And if not, it's an attempt to distract the players from the fact that it's not, which we will come to know in the next few weeks. Either way, the ship itself is now in-game and here to stay, and it's a beast of a thing. The firepower and maneuverability of the ship, as well as the huge quantum tank for quick and easy jumps across Stanton, make the ship, in my view, a top-tier bounty hunting vehicle. And I think in PvP, it's going to cause all kinds of problems for most other classes of ships. From light fighters up to medium large vessels. And it's fucking beautiful. I bought one. After getting a golden ticket, and um, for anyone who is interested, getting the golden tickets are actually not that difficult at all. Um, I'd assume that most people will actually run into them by accident before the event ends, but if you're actually looking for one, check out the basic mercenary bunker missions and you should be able to find one either on NPC corpses or in boxes. It's a gorgeous ship, man. I had to get one. I had to get one. The transforming ship was just too much, as well as like eight lasers when you put lasers on it takes away a little bit from the capacitor but I prefer that than having to worry about replenishing bullets um thing is a beast the firepower the maneuverability the way it handles and feels and the lightness of it in contrast to its actual scale is crazy Thank you for checking out this video. Thank you for listening to me rant a little bit about Star Citizen, the current state of affairs, and how much I love this new bloody ship. If you liked um, the music in this video, if you would like to check out more, check out my tracks on Spotify, where I release music which is available to download and stream as you'd like on all the platforms and all the things actually, so not just Spotify. But thank you very much, and yeah, take it easy. Peace.